Well, here I am at the Hilton Garden Inn, picking up my good buddy, Order 66 Junkie, Dave Shaw, for the ICCC Nashville Conference. I've not seen him since Star Wars Celebration, but I guarantee you, we are going to be getting in trouble this weekend. Generation X. What up, fellow content creator? Oh man, let's Hi, do Dave. it. Hi. Hi. Is this my Uber? Um, yes. Well, if are some, we going to talk like about that. UFOs, like the last Uber? See, driver? that's what I'm. Uh, that's what I'm really upset that's about. Fine. I just want to say that if we're going to be talking about UFOs and all these things like that, we can certainly do that. <laughs> I have all kinds of stuff that we can put together for this content. But Dave, welcome aboard. Welcome to oh, Nashville. Man. I've never flight? seen. I've never seen so much green. What do you mean? Oh, just like, like green, like, green like flying yeah. in. I'm like, oh, those are trees. Well, I even asked you, remember on the podcast, I said, do you guys have grass in Arizona? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, nothing like this. Dude. This, so, is, this is wild. It, it, yeah. yeah, it's beautiful. The sun is shining. So day. we're going to get acclimated, but let's get kicking this thing off. I triple so. C, baby. Yeah, let's here we go. go. Yeah, I triple C. Let's go. Dave, we need to stop and grab some food before we get there. Oh, what are we doing? Are we going to Whataburger? I don't know, is there a Whataburger around here? Oh, shit. Oh, apparently. And I guess uh, I guess we are cursing this round because let's not worry about any of that monetization. <laughs> Sorry. Here we are. Yeah. Am I going in the right way? Dude, you're going through the drive through Okay. And believe it or not, we've not had anything to drink yet. Here we go. Here we go, Dave. Let's do this. Oh, Whataburger it is. Look at these is. screens. Mm. Dave, why are we eating Whataburger right now. I mean, it's all about priorities. It is, I really think so, because you need the energy to be able to do these cons. I think people need to understand that. You can't go on an empty tummy. You, you need the fuel, mm -hmm. and it was meant to be. We were looking for a place to eat, and Kevin didn't even know this Whataburger was around. So Correct. it was just like the world's, you know. We like, saw the W in the distance. We thought it was an oasis, and before long, here we are. Hope it's good. And spoiler alert, of course it was. After we got our fill, we headed out to the actual venue for some VIP early access. Dave, we are here in our VIP first of the day, if you want to call it that. What is the one tip that we need to give people when you go to a con? If there's something that you like, what is the one tip that we say when you go to a con? Pull the trigger early. Unprompted, he knows that because if there's something you want, you will kick yourself in the balls knowing that you missed something. And, so and, and bring some like anxiety medication because like I'm already stressing. Like I want to buy everything in, in this convention right now. This this just I don't know. It's been so close to like Ohio, but like I've never seen so much vintage. You need to come chemistry. to toy department then with me. It's worthwhile, Dave. Oh Make it happen. man, I'm gonna buy a Mutt Williams action figure. So we wanted to use our first day of our VIP early access to get a lay of the land and see kind of where everything was so we weren't scrambling tomorrow. We wanted to make sure to hit our checklist and make a list of the things that we wanted to go back to tomorrow. And of course, we made sure to avoid those impulse purchases, even though it might have been easier for others. This con pretty much has everything that you would want, from vintage cards to vintage toys and everything in between. I loved even some of the early production samples that they'd have from Kenner as well as some extremely rare variants and error figures. And the stories that accompany them are even crazier. If you have a few minutes and you want to talk with some of the vendors, they will certainly tell you some tales. If you're into certifications and making sure you get your stuff graded, they have that there on site as well. After taking some pictures and grabbing a little more extra B-roll for this content, we decided that we were going to go on home to have a little more fun. So if that is not your thing and you want to jump right back into the con, make sure to look at the timestamps in the description. But we do hope you stay around because we definitely have some funnies that we do think you'll like. So without further ado, let's go. Dave, we are content creators here, and we obviously are going to be doing a little bit of a taste test with something you don't have necessarily in Arizona. And kids, if you're watching this, this is for adults only, but we have hard Mountain Dew. We have Baja Blast, as well as a new flavor that I've not tried. It is Livewire. So if you were a gamer from back in the day, uh, maybe this might be your thing. So here they, we go, Dave. Do they have a code red? They don't have one that I'm aware of, but uh, here is the here Baja Blast hard Mountain Dew. Dude. what you think? 
It's just like Baja Blast. It is, that's what like I'm saying. It's just like a million of them. That's what I'm saying, and it's very, very dangerous because imagine a spiked Baja Blast. What do so, we got, 5%? 5%, yep. Yeah. Not bad at all, but it's a tall boy. What do we got for calories here? 100 per can. What do we got for ca caffeine's gotta be fucking uh, I don't think they put that on there anymore. Yeah. But, uh, Dave, what would you give that out of 10? This, I'm gonna go with an eight. Okay, eight out of that, 10. That was, I'm, so there's three different ones. There's multiple ones. There yeah. is the Baja Blast, there's the original Mountain Dew, which I don't think is very good. There is a cherry, and then there's also a watermelon, but this is a new one. It is Livewire, and I'm actually gonna try this one with you, so. Yeah, I'm, I'm guessing I'm probably gonna like the Baja one. Sure. More And once again, this. as it said, 21 and over at the top. Yeah, oh. watch out. We do not promote minors drinking alcohol. Correct. We don't even promote people drinking alcohol in general. It's just, we have miserable lives sometimes. Hey, cheers. Cheers, here we go, Livewire. Mountain Dew Challenge. Yeah, Mountain Dew Challenge, here we go. Eh. Yeah. Uh, it's almost a, like a spiked Fanta or a sun kissed almost a little bit. This tastes like Sparks. Does this, it? Yeah. So you were telling us about Sparks. I'm going to have to put a picture of Sparks on the sparks screen here. Sparks for the OGs. Sparks for the OGs. Yeah, okay, so if we gave 8 out of 10 for that. What do we give 8 out of 10 for this? It's a 4. Mm. Not a big orange guy. All right, so that's a review. All right, Kevin. We're here. We are. Where are we? We currently are in my, I guess you would call it toy room. Okay. Yeah. So, Ke Kevin has a pretty insane collection. Sorry, Drago's barking, so I'm trying to eliminate that a little bit. But I have a few figures. You got a few. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. You have to step back to make sure to get them all in uh, frame, yeah. which is kind of embarrassing, but cool at the same time. Those are, those. Why don't you zoom in on them Ghostbusters? We don't want to miss them. We anymore. will. We're going to do a whole thing on that. <laughs> Uncle Tim, shout out. I'm speechless. I mean, we're saying, like, I feel weird being here. I know. We talk about this, and you've sat there and seen it behind me, you know, every time that we do our podcasts. So it's not like you don't know what's in here. But it, you see it in person. It's, it's just, just nuts, man. Yeah. All right, let's look at these Ghostbusters figures. Oh, my God. Those are the Blitzway Ghostbusters. Oh. Highly desirable. Paid, a, I think, a fair price nowadays, considered. Nowadays, especially. Yeah. And if anybody out there knows where I can find the Ecto-1, that would be really cool. God, I, I, got, I, I got to get that set, man. And here we are on the day of the con. We went ahead, grabbed some breakfast, and I'm gonna go meet Dave in line. Sir? Sir? Yes, yes. What's up, dude? Hey, are good. we ready to do this? Yeah, man. Uh, we are officially here getting our content, obviously. That's what we do. Um, I'm really excited. We're gonna be doing a scavenger hunt today, Dave. Tell me a little bit about we, that. We, we got a few things that we're gonna do this scavenger hunt. We got uh, something from the WWF Attitude Era. We nice. gotta find. I mean, it could be Stone Cold. It could be, uh, it could be Razor. I mean, wh whatever you like. We also got uh, uh, something from Ewoks. Beautiful. Car cartoon. Vintage, now I hear 40th. there's some Michael Jackson stuff in there as well. Some of them. Because Dave, I'm a little bit excited. You cheated a little bit. Dave gave me a Michael Jackson. Is it People Magazine? People Magazine. It's got some Princess Diana stuff yeah. on it. Pretty, pretty, pretty trendy right now. So Very I will vintage. show you guys that in a minute. But we're about to get in here and have one hell of a time. Now the artwork that these vendors bring is absolutely fantastic. I love how custom it is, and I love how each thing is pretty much unique. If there's any style you're looking for, you can certainly find it, whether it be art prints, whether it be carvings, or whether it just be actual t-shirts, very, very cool stuff. And also, if you're looking for six scale, that stuff is here as well. One thing that I'm starting to get into because of Dave are these patches. And if you have a really cool jacket to put them on, even better. Dave, we got some patches here of the Boy. man himself, John Williams, and happy Tatooine. I love this. I, it's just goofy. I love it. Happy Halloween, y'all, from, from Jabba. Hell yeah, hell yeah. And 
Dave is my daddy because he said I wouldn't buy this for myself, and he gave me the John Williams. Got got it. Got to treat your podcast host right. You know? God bless you, the man. And thank you, Dave, always taking care of me. We went around to look at a few unique cosplay pieces and wanted to check out a lot of some of the life-size props. And yes, even I was able to get on there and take a couple pictures. And what convention is complete without a bunch of builder droids? When you're walking around the floor, it really makes you want to spend some money. So what's a collector to do? Well, let's ask Dave. I mean, I come all the way to Nashville and what do I buy? More VHS tapes. I mean, this is pretty much on brand for you at this is point. This, is this any, is this movie any good? Uh, I, I haven't seen it either. Um, I, I hope it, it. Spoilers? The dude on the cover dies. Oh man, why'd you do that, man? So this is nostalgia in a pack right here. We are going back to the old Decipher Star Wars customizable card game. This is what I grew up on, everybody. And we have bought these booster packs from, what was your name again one more time? My name is Lisa. We're okay, friends, great. cool stuff. That's what it is. Lisa has helped us out here. So we are going to open up these bad boys. Let's flip the camera around and see what we have inside. I'm feeling good today. Okay. All right, we're starting with the Young Jedi pack. We're obviously hoping for a Darth Maul, uh, named characters such as Obi-Wan or such. Let's open this bad boy up. There we go. Let's see if it still smells good. It does. It still smells good. Everybody, here we go. We have a Tuscan Raider, Jawa, Battle Droid Officer. Oh, here we go, here we go. Jawa Ion Blaster, Sith Probe Droid, Gungan Guard, Battle Droid Infantry, Battle Droid Squad, Rick Oli. Actually, don't know what the rare is. Anne and Tangela, and then potentially here's Sick. the rare. I don't know what the rare is. I think Rick Roley Oli is the rare. Let's see. I don't know. I have to look that up. But uh, which ones are they? Padme is pretty. Oh, there's nice. the star. Okay, that was the rare that we got. Not bad. Okay. Not bad. All right. But here's the real stuff. Let's do the Cloud City booster pack. All right. Here we go. Hoping for a Vader, Lord of the Sith. Hoping for a Boba Fett, Dark Lando, something like that. <laughs> All right, here we go. Cloud City Engineer, Human Shield, Bounty, Computer Interface. We got the uh, Chasm Walkway, Lieutenant Kesius. No idea. Fall of the Empire and Dark Deal. I think Dark Deal is the rare. Yeah, that's um, a cool one. So that's very good. No name card, but man, there's just something about opening up these old cards made me feel special remind me of when i was a nine-year-old ten-year-old kid run into the card shop and pick these up so thank you again for letting us have this old moment in time thank oh, you, thank you. Go. so we're at lovers dreamers and they make wonderful a lot of 3d crafted stuff art the clown jay decay terror trader this is coming to you buddy all the way from nashville we have the key to all keys Joey Days, Trash Talk Boys, come on, dude. Oh, it's a pedal. I mean, it's not Metal Zone, but it's it's pretty sick. We got Bad Brains. That is Back beautiful. Back to the Future. Come on. And we also got, if, is this like if you know, you know kind of thing? I think this so, is, yeah. I wouldn't even say this is a deep reference, but this is like, if, if you know the reference, you pass, you pass the vibe. That's fair. Let us know down in the comments if you do, but... Dave, for the kids that may not know, what is the key? Oh, Goonies, baby. Some people may not know, so oh, just in yeah, case. Sorry, Boomer's here. Yeah, right. we're, we're old f***. <laughs> you can beep that. Yes, we can, and yes, we will, Dave, so no worries there. But one thing, once again, the artwork that is available is absolutely stunning. If you want vintage movie posters, they have that. If you want to just go grab some really rare pieces, they have that too. And obviously, the cosplay is a 10 out of 10. Now for me, as always, the orange Power of the Force carded figures will always hold a special place in my heart. Do you remember those? Let me know down in the comments what your first Star Wars figure memory was. And of course, Dave wanted to get a few other things for some friends. 
All right, so we, we got some more. And this is this is going back to Phoenix from my good buddy, Jonathan. Bro, you're, you're a Darth Maul guy. Look what I got you, baby. This is this is coming your way. And you know, I just I just I just had to. What were these called? Kush balls? Kush. Kush? Yep. I mean, who doesn't like a look Watu Kush ball? Having a blast here. I triple C. I'm not even. I'm not. I'm just getting started, baby. Let's go. All right, we just landed on the island. We're we're here at Dr. Malcolm. We're gonna get in this beautiful 1993 Jeep. I I just hope we don't run in a. Dennis, you know, we, oh, I, I see his jacket. Shit. Kevin, we're in the DeLorean. Yep. We're going back to Toys R Us. Uh, I don't know, probably 1981. This is Empire Strikes Back. Yeah, I don't know, but what, what, what's the pricing on that? Uh, sticker price is $3.97. That's $3.97. Three bucks. Can yeah, you spot so me? Can you spot me three bucks? I got you a Lincoln, buddy. You can keep the change. <laughs> Dave, okay. what we got here, buddy? Okay, so we talked about this a long time ago about do's and don'ts and toy cons. And one of my biggest regrets was not pulling the trigger on these two beauties a long time ago at the Red Barn Toy Show in Glendale, Arizona. And you know what? I'm not going to do it again this time. These are coming home with me, baby. Good steals, buddy. And after failing once again at the video game tournament, we decided we were going to head on out for some toy hunting at some local establishments. Hey Kevin, where are we buddy? We are here at the premier toy vendor in Nashville. That is Replay Toys, where I go to get my go-to stuff for six scale, for statues, all the nostalgia feels are in here. Dave, I can't wait for you to get inside. Let's go see this stuff. Man. Bang. A little bit of a good news, bad news situation. This Replay Toys is actually moving to a brand new location. So they're gonna be getting a lot more stuff in a lot better spots, but they were a little low on inventory. Dave, what do we got here? This little big gym Winnebago, dude. This had all this safari stuff in it. This is something I've never heard of. What is this? It's almost like, a, I don't know if Mattel made it, but it's kind of like a a Barbie, yeah, Mattel did make it. Oh. It's a Barbie line, but. Is it gonna cameo in the new Barbie movie? Oh man. The Barbie universe, cinematic universe? Well, yeah, Barbie you. David, what is going through your head right now? We are looking at. I have goosebumps, bro. Are Look at sure? this. Look at this. Now that's a boat. That's a bigger boat. Oh my God. Look at this thing, dude. Like, scale. Here's here's the scale. Pretty Dang. large, man. Oh man. This is gonna, do you want to pack this up? What? Here at Replay Toys. I, I've been wanting to come here ever since I've met Kevin. I feel like I'm family, you know, just, just, just met everyone that owns the store. Amazing people. And I think I just found the most terrifying action figure I've ever seen. Could you imagine getting this for like Christmas as a kid? You open it up, it's Christmas. Look at how terrifying this is. What is this, Dave? I mean, it's Aunt May, and like Aunt May is amazing, but holy! That does that, not look that, like Marissa Tomei. That that's got hereditary vibes all 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 over it. Uh, this is look look at the hands. <laughs> and yes, I I will be buying this. Replay toys. So we're here at the Great Escape, and Dave has finally found what he's been looking for. We have a bunch of VHS's, classic stuff, which he's really into for 99 cents. Dave, let's dive into this show. Let's go, let's go, baby. And all I know is that if Dave is happy, then I am happy. If you're ever in the Nashville area and want to check out The Great Escape, this place may be for you. Well, after all this toy hunting and conning, we needed a little bit of sugar, a little energy to get us boosted. So we stopped by Crumble Cookie. If you've never been to a Crumble Cookie, I mean, they're pretty legit. legit. Pretty legit. So Dave, we grabbed some things. I went ahead and grabbed me the strawberry milk. Uh, it's like a strawberry milk one that's awesome. What exotic flavor did you get? I, I, I totally went, I, I had to try something new. I, I went with the most basic, uh, just, just- He literally went with the sugar frosted basic Silly cookie, but you know what Dave as long as you're happy with it. That's all that matters. So we're gonna crush these. Let's go smash 
Well, Dave, it is the end of the night. It is the end of the road. And we've been on the road quite a bit, actually. We have. We've done a we've lot. We've driven everywhere. We have done a lot. And unfortunately, this is going to be the end of our show for us. But I'm excited about the future. But we've done so much. And thank you, Dave, for coming to Nashville. I hope you've enjoyed yourself. Dude, Nashville is a gem, man. I, I It's such a good time here. Seen so much green. It's a lot yeah. of green. I mean, in Arizona, you just have a bunch of sand and fake green. So. Stop it. But we hope you, everybody, have enjoyed this. It's been an absolute pleasure getting the TNT boys back together. We got back. some good stuff coming to you soon. So make sure to obviously be engaged in all of our socials. Follow us. And we'll be seeing you around. Peace. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>